I know this is important for all the moderates live right now. What are the police telling you right now about what happened here? Yeah, very sad this morning. In fact, at 8 o'clock this morning, 30 minutes before, this was supposed to be full of cars. This is the command site where all the volunteers are going to meet, but they've already left because it's some very sad news. Nine-year-old McGee was found uh, dead this morning at 7 o'clock. Investigators say it all happened on Thanksgiving when the team went missing around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. After that, it immediately launched a search. Now, Marcus, he was 9 years old, he was autistic and nonverbal, so that made it especially concerning for loved ones. But the community was out there supporting him. Oh. Hundreds of people came out and looked for Marcus. Uh, they searched on the ground, they searched through brushed areas, and they planned on resuming that search this morning. In fact, they covered a six-mile radius. That's how many people were searching for Marcus. In fact, there were so many volunteers that they actually had to turn people away. And this morning, some of the volunteers still showed up, uh, hoping to search for Marcus, but then, of course, got the very sad news that, unfortunately, uh, Marcus was found dead at 7 o'clock this morning. Now, he was visiting relatives from Connecticut, and so he was staying here with, with loved ones. And he, again, he got out somehow in the house. He was found on the property in a pond that was, what was about 20 feet deep. Now, the dive team searched that pond yesterday. They didn't find him. But then the police department said, we're going to look one more time. And that's unfortunately, again, when they found him this morning. Now, there is a vigil planned for Marcus this afternoon. Actually, this evening at 6 o'clock tonight, we just called and confirmed that. That vigil is still on, and it's planned right here at Dad's Club okay. in Carolyn. They are expecting quite a turnout. Reporting live from Carolyn, Marla Carter, of Thursday Night Witness News. Marla, quick questions for you right quick. Uh, first, talk about the evidence in the pond. He was found right there uh, at, on the property where he went missing. Talk about the proximity of where, I guess, he went missing, which is the house versus where the pond is. Is it a mile away from the house? Is it just a few yards? Uh, do you have any of that information? Yeah, that's a great question. So it is actually a very large property. Um, the house, there is a pool, there's a large backyard, and then beyond that, there is the pond. And we're told that surveillance video at the home even showed him walking out the back door around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And the whole area is actually gated in, but from talking to police, there are still ways out. And that's where the concern came in, because they thought, well, perhaps he was able to unlock one of the gates and get outside. And that's and there was actually some sightings of him as well that we had heard. Um, so they thought that maybe, perhaps, he had left the property. But again, we learned that it does not appear that he ever left the property. Yeah, and one more question. Have police gone into any detail as to exactly when they said he left, uh, the camera shows him going out of the back door, how was he able to get away from adults or get away from family members? I mean, was this during the Thanksgiving dinner? You know, that is something that we still have not found out about. That's a great question, of course. I know a lot of times I'm just talking to some of the families. I interviewed a woman yesterday who has two autistic children, and she says that they are really drawn to water and they like to explore. And she says she's taken her eyes off of her children for just a minute and they're gone. Um, and they just simply have a nature to wander. And so that perhaps in this situation, that's simply what happened, is that he was just wandering the property and not familiar with the property, not being from here, and didn't really know how to return home or where to go. Gotcha. And certainly not in his I wonder if that pond that we pulled up was back there, is that's why the cops were there, Jeffrey, that is it. He was 90 years old. His brother.